Hey y'all, it's me, Key. Y'all remember my, well, hey girl. I mean, hey y'all, it's me, your girl B. What song is that from? Comment below, okay. Hey y'all, I missed y'all. I'm back in action. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and click the notifications button and all of that. Please leave a comment, because I do, from time to time, read uh, my supporters mail, uh, all of my love from the keychain. And thank you again for watching. Today, I'm gonna to talk about every tattoo. <sighs> what is it, the tattoo, the reasons for the tattoos, the meaning, whatever. The meaning, tattoos. the meaning behind my tattoos, okay? Here we go. Believe it, let them see it, let them see you. This week's episode is about the meaning behind my tattoos. I ain't talked about that in a minute. How many tattoos do I have? Let me figure it out. One. You know what's crazy is the tattoos that I, I, I don't even remember. Some of them are there because it's just, you know, they're there. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, I do have more. Nine. Nine. I don't have nothing over here. I don't have nothing down here either. <laughs> Nine. Um, I think that's it. Nine. Yeah, that's it. Nine. My feet ashy, but I'm going to show y'all. I don't got my toes done. It's cold outside, so I'm letting them breathe from the polish. Oh, ten. Ten. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. All right, here we go. So here's the first one. This is a lifeline with Jesus in it. And um, it means, you know, a lifeline represents that you have life or whatever. And the reason it's going is because Jesus is in it. This is special to me because this is my handwriting. And of course, it's like always a reminder, Jesus is my everything. So that's pretty self-explanatory, right? And then this one, y'all know I'm obsessed with my family. And um, you have my parents, my brother, and my grandparents. I'm super close to my Uncle Ethan and my Aunt Gwenda as well. Um, but that would have been a lot of initials. So I just have um, J for John, <clears throat> which all of the Johns, all of the men are Johns. Um, John Drew, John Henry, John Drew the second. But this is J for John, K for Karen, John for John Drew. And then this is W for Willie Mae. That's my grandmother. And then this is J1 because Nana didn't like Papu's name, which is John Henry. So she gave my dad John Drew. So he's still the first John. So that's, yeah, that's that. That means a lot to me because it's uh, John, Karen, John, Willie Mae, John. Yeah, so. Um... I don't know what it is now. Is it like a constellation with stars and stuff? Hearts. Yeah, hearts. And it was this a cover up now, nah, so we just we can ignore that one. But what else? This is love struck. It used to say love juice, but I was a little worldly. Jesus, love struck now. Um, that's when um I was into like lightning bug. I, I just went through phases okay you talk about the lord changing your life he didn't change me okay and then all of these back here y'all see these often though can you see those mm -hmm. okay. Okay. um i gotta walk you through this dang i'm tatted up huh this one is re what is that redeemed free delivered Hello. okay look i don't forgot what it said um why did i get this that's self-explanatory. Listen, that's when I was like getting for real saved. Um, and then what's the next one? The music symbol. The music no. symbol. I was just getting busy. I'm sorry. I don't. It's no reason. I I love music. Y'all know that. And this one was actually my first one. So the biggest one is my first tattoo. I got that when I was 18. And um, I think it's one of my aunt Dorinda's uh, sermons. <laughs> 
they left me for dead, but I'm coming back. And it was it was during the season of when I I was experiencing a lot of betrayal, like learning the essence of true friendships and relationships or whatever. Um, but it's on Dorinda's message, and I think I got Maddie's girl, and um, Maddie is my grandmother. Uh, and actually, the sermon it was a powerful sermon. I never forgot it. And I went and got that first tattoo of my cousin Nikki, which is Auntie Dorinda's daughter. But the tattoo. Um, they left me for dead and I come back and the scripture is the, the biblical reference of when Jesus was betrayed and, and they were expecting him to have been dead but he rose again so I don't even know if that was like an Easter sermon or whatever but that's what it was and I was kind of going through a lot of brokenness at that time okay what's next I think I gave the whole like spiel about I'm going to be in love, period. Like, I don't know what I was making up stuff. But it was basically saying I don't need a ring to know that I am loved. Um, so, yeah, I got this, I think, when I was in my 20s, too. <gasps> Dang, you talk about the whole thing about, like, how you know how the season saints say, girl, don't get that on your body. You're going to be young and stuff ain't going to mean the same thing. I only have but a few that mean, you know, the same thing to me. Um, I do want to sleep, but I'll get to that question later. So that's that. And then, and actually this was a cover up too. So I've done at least three cover ups. This was two hearts locking itself. I didn't like it cause it started bleeding. And then I got just one big heart. But again, that goes to the whole heart thing. I love hearts. And it's a heart in this, I think in this lightning bolt. Is it there? Yeah, it's there. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with hearts. What is that? Okay. Is it there? My skin feels like, yeah, it's there. All right. Here's another heart in the lightning bolt. I don't know what was going on. My, I'm ashy. So don't judge me. But it's a, it's just something. Oh, no, I got 11. I didn't. So I have 11. Oh, so maybe I told you eight. And I told Steph eight, too. So I have 11 tattoos. You need to slow down. You said 10. Okay, thank you, sis. Um, But here's a heart in the lightning bolt. I don't, it's no meaning behind that one. It's just I like... That was when I was into hearts and lightning bolts. This one was at first a red cross. And I got this with one of my friends. And um, it was just a red cross. I was super convicted. This is when I was like, like saved and I was having different convictions. So I was not liking when I turned my arm up, the cross was upside down and it was only right when it was down. I didn't like that, I, I was feeling like bad. So I went and got Faith Over It later by another tattoo artist. And I think, I don't think this one is my, my hand right now. I think I found that from like Pinterest or something. Um, but it, it, that's self-explanatory, just always having faith. This was also a cover up, I'm ashy. Jeez. Oh, that's good. Um, is it all? Oh, I thought it was all the way on the way. Are you done, sis? You done? Are you done? You have more? Yo, you don't have nothing else. Okay, so this tattoo was a cover up. Um, I like this tattoo a lot. Lady L did this one. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can even see the, what it was. But it was music notes and it just, I just wanted to take, pick, uh, get tattoos. I don't know what was going on. But Lady L made this and this is just a cover up. That's it. <laughs> this don't got no meaning. I want more tattoos though, but I'm gonna stop. This one a G, it's got lace. It's like flower and lace and all of that. It looks like a butterfly. Thank you, sister. I'm ashy. Put some lotion on. Uh-oh. Am I done getting tattoos? Um. I think I'm done with getting tattoos because I don't want to, um, I think I'm done with getting tattoos. I don't want to grow up and, and be this old, like because I'm noticing the older I get, I'm, I'm more and more conservative. I don't wear like the latest, well yes I do. I like wearing the latest trends or fashions or whatever, but 
I'm not as much as, I wasn't changey. I'm not as changey as I used to be. Does that make sense? Um, I, there are some tattoos that I want. Like I want to get my dad's name, but I wouldn't do that because I think that that would disappoint him because he's not into it. Um, so I just got the Drew's girl chain. Um, and I do want a sleeve, but I often reconsider it because I don't know who I'm going to marry. Um, I don't know, you know, it's just all of that good stuff. So, yeah, love y'all. That was fun. It was very transparent. I don't usually talk in detail about the tattoos, but, um, that was it. Okay. Those are the meanings of my tattoos. Kelly just, she don't care if I'm recording it. I just don't matter. Why don't you care? Okay. Well, you want to close them out, Cal? Thank you for watching the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching the YouTube channel. Please this this one I want to do her respond for. Damn, it's up with That's the one she ain't got up no one in this pizza. So subscribe to the channel and watch her YouTube channel. And I'm going to be in one of them. Y'all going to be like, oh, tell me in them. Stay calm now. Thank you for watching. Love y'all. Click the notification. I wonder what my daughter's going to be like. I think Callie acts like, who do you think you act like, your mom or your dad? Both. Oh. She's she's a special kid. I really love her. Hmm. You supposed I to say love you too. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.